Hi and welcome back to another offline video of JPlay. I am Marcus and today I'm doing a two-player game of Bad Company, which was really one of the must-buys from this year's Essen Spiel. In the meantime, I really played it quite a bit. Four players, two players, three players. I was considering doing a solo playthrough, but then I noticed that Rado already did one, so I thought thought let's do a two-player playthrough of this and again this game really plays totally nice at every player account I played it with and I think you can play it up to six I believe and even there I'm pretty sure it's still a ton of fun so really I'm enjoying it at two players three players four players an amazing great game not very original so if you know games like machi koro or space based and some of the mechanics may look familiar to you but apart from that i think they made a pretty cool stuff around or pretty cool theme around heists and whatnot it also enriched the game with other mechanics so it's really not just a clone of machi koro or space base that is and I think with that being said let's get cracking as usual I will not explain the game up front I will simply dive into the game itself is relatively simple it comes with a lot bit more moving pieces than Machi Koro but that's the piece I like about this actually and so yeah let's see how things go shall we the first gang are the Cheesy Angels and the game comes with six left sides and right sides. Um, they differ in artwork, obviously, and they also differ then a little bit in the name. I will have a look at the other gang in a second. Apart from that, they all come um, with numbers from 2 to uh, 12, actually, and that's basically because we are rolling dice obviously the distribution of those icons also is a little bit different from gang to gang i'm pretty sure that nothing is more powerful than anything else this is relatively balanced to me and there's a lot that you can do to up your chances getting the symbols that you need and yeah again there is basically a lot of combinations to whatever you can have the cheesy angels or here on the right side of the table we have the lazy pimples we all start the game with two bucks here and we will also start the game with um, basically two highs we get to two or get to draw three and we'll keep two and i think that's something i forgot <laughs> in regard to my preparation so i think i will do that now off camera and not really talking these things through okay i have made up my mind and in the end the cheesy angels will start with those two high here. they will come with different amount of victory points like this one here this will score you six points at the end of the game of course you have to solve it first this one gives you five points if you have seven or more upgrades in your gang later on and these icons is something around uh, majorities and that's a little bit more fun when playing with more than just two players but still works well enough with just two players here too because it's again it's a majority thing and typically dealing with majorities is a little bit more fun when you have more players the lazy pimples will start the game with those two high here that comes with a special ongoing ability so whenever you are the so-called boss you get a free reroll which typically costs you money normally and this one here gives you three points at the end of the game it comes with two of these diamond or, or gems and you get one of those safe cards and those safe cards can be pretty helpful too they come with victory points they come with small little rule breakers or additional check marks and whatnot so i think for both of the players it's a relatively solid starting hand you usually want some more special abilities or extra bonus when you start the game the cheesy angel weren't that lucky in respect to the card draw but it's still okay enough now let's have a quick look at the two game boards that we have. That's more or less the scoring trick here and it's also moving a little meeple around and whenever you progress you, you have to pay something and whenever you pay something you get to draw update, upgrade cards from this deck, making your gang stronger, more diverse, whatever, you name it. On the left hand side we have the streak map, this is where you are moving your cars around. Um, so every player has a car we also have a black police car in a multiplayer game staying behind the police car is not that big of a deal 
If that's still the case at the end of the game, you will lose three points for that, but that's about it. On the other hand, you might miss out some of the cool little things that are here on the road. So whenever you're making it over one of those thresholds, you gain the depicted bonus here. That's two money, two money, a safe card. And at the end of this track, that's two or some more victory points to gain. And when one of the players has either completed six heists and then you will have one final turn after that, not a full round, one, one final turn. Or if one of the cars makes it here into the red area and that also includes the police car by the way. That's the same thing. Afterwards, we will also see a final turn which works slightly different than the normal turn and then the game is over. You tally up your score. And yeah, see who is the most infamous or yeah, infamous gangs in town. And with that being said, now really let's get started. The cheesy angels will start the game, so they are the boss. Again, we have the two money here. Let's not forget about those. And we are rolling the dice. Easy as that. You're rolling, rolling all four of those golden dice because gold is best. And we are also rolling the police die, which has two twos, two ones and two zeros on it. And yeah, you guessed it right. This tells us how far the police car will move towards the end or at the end of the round. Now the boss has to make a choice or can make a choice if they want to reroll um, those dice. Again, normally a reroll costs you one dollar. Then you can roll any number of dice and you can keep rerolling until you out of money or unless you don't want to spend any more. One reroll typically is okay because there are ways um, that gets you um, additional money, for example. And for the first upgrade step on this track, you have to spend three. And you start the game with two money, so spending one is usually not that big of a deal. So now let me think about this for a second. And honestly, I think that the cheesy angels are fine with that and cheesy angels is the blue player by the way and yeah there's yeah it doesn't really show on these things no you have to remember that you are the blue player and i have to remember that actually so i will put this little blue die here <laughs> I remember that Okay, no, we are not re-rolling him. And now um, the boss also makes the choice of making basically two pairs out of this. This will be set here. We are fine. The police car will move two spaces. That's okay. And again, we want some money. So blue or the cheesy angels will form a seven and a 12. And all the other players, in this case, we only have one, have to live with this pairing here. All the other players, so the boss can choose basically both pairs. Um, to, to trigger the appropriate act uh, corresponding actions with that. And that's the 7 and the 12 here, obviously. Whereas all the other players only get to choose one of those pairs. There are special powers which allow you to also do that every now and then. But standard game or standard rule is they have to live with that. And I think that's perfectly fine. So in this case, it's relatively simple. We are dealing with a 7. So we are making two more bucks. That never is a bad thing. And we have the 12. And the 12 shows these two steering wheels here. And yeah, that allows the blue player to move his car one, two spaces ahead. We made it over this first threshold here already. So that's pretty amazing, giving the blue player two extra bucks. And now for the lazy pimples, of course, they would love to also trigger both of those pairs because the 12 is always the same. I'm moving you two spaces on the street, but getting these two uh, no but i think the 12 gives them the two money anyway so no they will also go for the 12 i guess and again the 12 are two steering wheels means they're also moving two spaces ahead they will also score two extra bucks in this case and that's already phase two of the game by the way where you are triggering all your special abilities where you're buying extra cards Usually you can do all of these things simultaneously if you're playing this for the first, second time or explaining this to new players. It's wise to do all these things player by player. And there's even a rule where you say you if whatever, if there is something which makes it maybe, I don't know, dependent um, on the selection of heists out there, for example, you can also say, no, we are definitely doing this um, starting with the boss in a clockwise fashion. In this case, again, we are kind of doing things simultaneously now. Or maybe not, maybe we will do it now player by player. So we will deal with the blue player next. So they want to recruit next. So we are spending $3. We have $3, perfect. What this means is we are drawing the top 
three cards here from the deck and get to choose one of those. So let's have a quick look at those. So that's a magician we can hire upgrade and they all come with some victory points. The numbers that you typically roll more often have lower values, whereas the numbers like a three or a 10 that doesn't come up too often has typically, or you always have two victory points. And these things simply give you additional symbols that you can roll. And now you have to really check what kind of symbols you need for your heists. And at the start of the game, that's usually all of those. So we have, we need three masks, but we also need three of those locks. Right now we have one lock here. We didn't draw any um, mask symbol from the upgrade stack. So I guess we will go with the lock then instead placing this this on a three so we are extending the appropriate gangster and they will always fit in respect to their artwork that's really a job very nicely done and you will always place them here that those symbols will more or less be visible only those victory points here um you only get to score the points at the end of the game of those that are visible at that point in time so let's say we are putting i don't know three more threes down here the topmost card will still be only showing two victory points and that is what you will score we still have three more dollars which is pretty amazing for the first turn these two cards are discarded by the way so i think blue will move one space up further spending the money and that's what you need the money for getting upgrades or maybe for rerolls but you usually want to use them for um, updates another lock a glove or two more dollars i think um, because it's a seven and i already got a second lock symbol i think i will go for some extra dollars yeah let's do that so we are placing the seven on top of the seven and you see it always fits it's always a trouser that extends um interestingly enough so the legs get longer and longer <laughs> while we go but now the seven would give us four dollars if you would activate it and that's pretty amazing actually and that's i guess all that the blue player can do here so let's discard the cards but yellow is still active so we are also spending three dollars for yellow drawing three cards for yellow Oh, here are two masks. Okay, I th oh, but we don't really need masks. That's interesting. So when we look at our heist, we see a lot of gloves and we have a glove here. So I think that's the perfect choice to solve those heists. And whenever you are triggering, I will show this to you. Let's not talk about this. So we are discarding all the others, um, basically back to the reserve. And yeah, if the deck runs out, you are reshuffling this. This will happen can happen actually already at three players four players for sure um typically but again not a big deal and that's pretty much the end of the, let's call activation phase the last thing to do is to check the police die and the police car will move one two spaces ahead in the solo game that's more important because whenever the police car is, I think, on the same space as you, I think on the same space as you will automatically or immediately lose the game. But in a solo game, I think the police car starts at space 60. But this is really something where you have to keep moving your car in order not to lose the game. Apart from that, there is standard little scoring table. And honestly, I really don't know how difficult it is to whatever run away from the police car and i think there is some adjustments or some variants which you can use to say let's have the police car start at three and therefore you will score extra points or so yeah i think works pretty well solo but never actually tried because i played this game a lot uh, in multiplayer mode but that's pretty much the end of the round which means the boss now moves to the lazy pimples i keep forgetting and so the yellow player will roll the dice accordingly and yeah let's see how things go and i'm pretty sure i can start to speed things up wow another two that's crazy again each of those numbers all of those numbers are twice on the die but okay mm, that's an 11 or a five so again what do we need we ideally we want the seven but there is no way we can oh, yeah, yeah, yeah we can there's a seven of course there's a seven so we get the glove which we would need for our quest can we do something with the nine yeah that's an extra space i think we are fine with that of course the lazy pimples see that the cheesy angels also will most likely activate the seven getting them a lot of money 
but you cannot really look at all the other players. No, I think we will keep it like this. Seven and nine it is. We will start now to activate everything for the yellow player first. So with a seven, um, we are getting two money, which will also give us one upgrade. That's at least something. And we will also get a glove. This is where those little check marks are coming into the picture. So we can now cover um, basically one of those symbols here. You can do that on your heist. You can do that here on your little task, for example. So the gloves here, if you are making a pair, we would get two more bucks. But honestly, and ultimately we want to or basically do our heist here. So we are now one third on our way completing this heist. Nicely done. We still have the nine here and the nine gives us one more steering wheel. So yellow will move one space further. The next step for yellow is rather interesting. They could take this shortcut here, but then missing out on these two tasty symbols here. Or again, we are taking the normal route and then we will um, unlock those things. This is the shortcuts I think you're really only using when you are behind and you want to catch up with the police car or something like that because then you wouldn't even get those symbols here anyway. Every other case you really want those symbols for sure. And then I guess we are yeah, we have three more money, which yellow is going, oops, or the lazy pimples are going to spend to advance one here, which means we are getting three more cards. Do we, oh, we need a lock symbol. Question now is, do we want the 10 or do we want the four? I think they will go for the 10, which can result, I think I have to move this up in a double lock symbol a little bit later. I think that's certainly helpful and we need three of those symbols for our current heist. And whenever you're completing a heist, you are refilling up to two. There is a special power coming from one of those heists, which give you extra slot for heist, but typically you always have two active ones of those. But I think that's the end of basically everything that yellow would was able to do. So Blue has to make a choice if they want to go for a nine or for the seven. The nine would give them a lock symbol, which is also not unimportant, but the seven would give them four dollar and that would also mean another upgrade. And I think we are still very early in the game. Let's work on our upgrades. So we are basically taking the four. We are spending the four right away to move our yellow maple one space ahead now it costs us four dollars it's getting more expensive okay we have carton guy we have wow she has a power drill on her arm wow oh here we i think we need the mask right yeah let's totally go for the mask so we are discarding those and the mask goes in here i think that was a Pretty amazing card for the blue player. Last but not least, we are moving the police car one, two spaces ahead. And then we are moving the Lego Dice Tower over to the blue player, the Cheesy Angels. And we'll start the next turn. Okie dokie. So let's do that right away. And let's roll. We will hold on to this one here so we see a different number. And again, blue, oh no, blue cannot um, spend any money. So we will have to live with those dice. So there is no free reroll. Question is, what pass are we going to do? We could go for a crazy double seven here in this case. This would give them $8 in total. But oof, can we, there is no eight unfortunately and implicitly uh may have really mentioned this you cannot go for single dice like in other games like this so you really have to go for the pair in this case so there is no level one or a number one gangster on your on your gangster board for example it's always a pair of dice so it's five and nine four and ten Oh, that four and ten would be also good. But then I think the double seven would, would be much better. But we are not making any more progress. But the eight would have been amazing. But there is no reward. So I think, yeah, let's be very cheap. And let's go for one seven and another seven here. So in total, that's eight dollars. Unfortunately, we can only use one of those eight dollars now because the next step is five already. But let's do it anyway. So we are spending spending four to move our maple one space ahead. The next step is already a five. We are drawing three more cards. Oh, there's another mass and another six. That's also, that's realistic, but the, no, let's go for the six. 
Yeah, maybe there are some more power moves later on, but right now the cheesy angels are not really doing well in respect to completing their task. Okay, the lazy pimples also only got one, but they really have a ton of upgrades already. Right now they're all relatively low scoring, but that's five points at the end of the game. That's really not nothing. And that's the end for blue actually so let's see um yeah i mean we have to live with a seven because those were the only pairs that um blue has chosen so in this case we also get two dollars that's not enough to advance our little meeple but it's good enough to get ourselves another um glove here so we are two thirds on the way completing this heist up there and i think that's a good thing because again then we would trigger the majority for gold um, bars here and that will give us a necklace a lot of point or a lot of possibilities so typically a good thing and because the police die only showed one the police car will move only one again end of turn let's move the dice tower over to the lazy pimples and ideally we're rolling something which gives them one lock symbol so a 10 would be amazing for the lazy pimples i will reroll that and i don't think that this will no we will not get to a 10 in this case so we could decide on re-rolling stuff we could go for a double seven two, but double seven, yeah, these are two gloves. Not bad, actually, not bad. But I really want to finish that heist here. So I think we are spending one dollar to re-roll. I don't know, we want to hold on to the one, that's fine. Let's re-roll those three. And we want at least one more five on this dice, on those dice. And no, that's not good enough. We could continue to roll. That was really a bad, I think we have to, because the other pairs, the eight, ah, the eight, no, that's not good enough. We need the 10. We need the 10 for sure. No, let's spend one more dollar. Let's re-roll them again. And that's a 10. Okay, oop, that was a six. That was really a six. I'm pretty sure you saw that. Okay, yeah, we will stop, or we have to stop here anyway. So we are going with a 10 and we are going with a six. Yeah, let's do that. The 10 will give us two of those lock symbols. Awesome. So we are basically completing this and we will place another one here. So already starting to prepare the next heist. This was the 10. The six will give us one flashlight. And yeah, we need the flashlight up here, actually. Yeah, let's totally do that. I think that was a pretty cool roll actually but we don't get any money so we are not buying anything the only thing is we have completed this heist which means we are basically flipping this to the other side so this is now an ongoing effect and also right now we definitely have a majority for those gold bars and we know that the other player doesn't have any gold bars so we can immediately do that here right away so we're getting this little necklace token here and i think we will place this necklace here onto this gangster and whenever you get um, basically one of those necklaces you will immediately score one point for that and whenever we are going to activate that gangster again that's another point and at the end of the game if you still hold on to this necklace you score an additional two points so that's pretty amazing actually but that's the end of their activation normally you do this kind of stuff to see who has most um, when everyone had their turn and was able to complete their highs then you will check who has the majority of those and there's a little tiebreaker number on on these cards here so whoever has the single most highest card uh, for that category will then get the or will break the ties but in this case again the yellow player the lazy pimples are the only one who were able to steal some gold for the cheesy angel it's rather simple they will definitely go for the six which will activate this one here so they will get a mask and i think we are going to place the mask hmm. let's put it here because we are getting also the glove actually from the six so we can yeah i think we are then on a good way to completing this heist here doesn't come with any special powers but it's worth six points at the end of the game and with two diamonds or two gems here, it's it's very likely that they will hold on to the majority for quite some time. It's also an eight, but you see there are cards. I believe they go up to 13 or so, if I remember that correctly. They don't have enough money to get another upgrade card. And keep in mind, if they are able to fulfill this heist here 
and they will want to have at least seven upgrade cards on their display to score those five points. Right now we are at four, but I think blue is on a good track. And last thing to do for the action phase is to move the police car. And then we check um, who, which player has fewer than two heists. And that's in this case, or that's the lazy pimples, which means they get to choose another heist. And oof, what do they have? They have a lot of locks. So maybe this and would also guarantee them their the gold majority. But this one comes with a special ability that allows them to move their meeple for one space less. Or this one here is another reroll and it's another gem. And I think we want any extra reward because it's something we can have rather easy actually. And yeah, it comes with one victory point. Yeah, let's go for this extra heist. Yeah, let's let's be happy about this. Let's be modest. Pretty sure the underworld is a pretty modest thing. And that's the end of the turn for the lazy pimples. Moving back to the cheesy angels. They will roll the dice and will be the boss for this round. Now they do have money to re-roll. And do they want to do that? Um, the cheesy angels are considering to re-roll maybe only the police die actually. But I think... Why should they spend the money because of the other? No, let's not do that. They will hold on to this. So the eight is perfect. The nine, nine is okay, I would think. And the other two is two is what it is. So we are getting one mask and one glove from the eight. And that's pretty perfect, actually. So here is the mask. Here is the glove. The nine gives them one lock symbol. So only thing that is missing right now for this high is six points. That's a big deal in this game is one flashlight so we are looking for a one five here that's possible or maybe we get two more masks this would give us one freebie which we could then place on any of our tasks or heists yeah i think that's that we are not able to buy any more upgrades next step is five keep that in mind and uh, for the lazy pimples Let's do the nine actually, because this will move their car one step ahead and this will give them two extra dollars. Right now they cannot spend it unfortunately and the next, their next step is a four. You can even see that here. And then last but not least, we are moving the police car one, two spaces ahead. Again, being next to the police car doesn't do anything. And also throughout the game, if you are behind the police car, that's all fine. Only at the end of the multiplayer game, you check if you are really behind the police car so in this case they wouldn't even lose the three points for that you really have to be behind for that and that's i believe yeah everything that happened we are moving the dice tower over to the lazy pimples and go into the next turn they're not really rounds in this game this is all turns and ooh, the tennis mm, tennis okay i guess the six maybe do we need two locks with two locks we could move our car one step ahead but this doesn't do us any good but do we want to re-roll again or should we go for this no it's it's always a six or a ten right there's nothing else we can choose unless we are re-rolling again Ooh, that's a nasty one that's a really nasty one but still Still, the flashlight is okay. Let's hold on to that. Oh no, we have one free reroll. I almost forgot. Of course, we have the free reroll. No, in this case, we do want to reroll it all actually because the 10 is okay, but maybe we can do better. Let's reroll this. The one here is okay from the police car action. No, that's cool. We have the reroll. That's another 10 and a 7. Mm, I think I want this. I think I want this because then we could gain one more upgrade. No, let's hold on to this die result here. Again, we could still spend money, but let's not do that. So the 10 gives us two locks. One definitely goes in here. The other one goes to our task. We haven't yet completed it. We haven't completed the highest, but that's okay. The seven will give us one point because, again, we activated a gang member with uh, the necklace. We are getting two extra coins, which we're going to spend in a second. And we will also gain one glove, which we will totally place on this one here. Cool. Then we are spending the four dollars to draw one 
two, three cards. Yeah, we could make the seven more powerful. You can really put all the gangsters you want on there. But we do need more gloves right now. So I'm really tempted to go with the C9 or the six is old school for some extra dollars. Mm. Now that's, we already have two gloves. No, let's go for the extra dollars now. So we are placing it here and nothing else to trigger. Those two cards get discarded. Then the cheesy angels have to choose their pair. And I guess they will go for the seven again, because right now they want to fulfill this one at some point in time at least. Yeah, let's go for four more dollars actually. We are spending five of those right away. So they're down to three. And of course I forgot to move the yellow meeple. Blue is moving two. One, oops, two and three and getting a second flashlight might be cool so we will go with the five which we're going to place here so they're already at five upgrade cards of course they still have to make the heist here in order to score it it's not a freebie but that's still okay let's move the police car it's only one space so they are ahead but again that's not really that big of a deal and then yeah we are moving the dice tower back to the cheesy angels who will be the boss for this round okay let's roll them and let's think about a potential re-roll and honestly the only thing we may want to consider to re-roll is the police die because they're already behind and moving it for its three points it's not the end of the world really but i don't really like it so we are spending the one to reroll the police die and that's a one hmm. that's somewhat better but apart from that we will hold on to the five and the ten yeah let's do that the ten is easy we are moving our police car once uh, our blue player's car one space ahead that's nice these are two flashlights which we will totally assign to one here and one there meaning we have completed this one here pretty amazing stuff so we will place it down we have the majority in jewels but i have to check no we will hold on to the jewels for sure so we can award the jewel necklace and i think we will also place it here on to this player which means blue will also score their first point hooray and that's dead yeah we moved this we cannot afford anything here we got the point we got the necklace let's see what the lazy pimples are doing and they're really not happy with the results the 10 these are two locks and ooh, now that's bad actually or should we go for the five oh. mm. it's not great it's not great because we are getting two for the 10 that we are spent but this gives us a step this gives us two dollar what's more important what's more important maybe the step step from here i mean ah, if you would have there's no way we get the glove huh 10 or 5 let's go for the five yeah sorry for the mumbling here um we will get two dollars maybe preparing for the next step or so but that's about it let's move the police car and now Blue has to make a call because Blue knows they will never get the $2 here because the police car is already on this space. At least as far as I know, right? I think so. Let me check. I think you, once they have made it there, yeah, if the police car has not already, um, basically, yeah, that's, so they could now really decide to move in here with their next step, for example. Right now they're not moving. But then they would also miss out on this save here. But maybe not the end of the world. Maybe not the end of the world. I really hope I can show you some of those saves relatively soon. There are not really a ton of different effects, but at least five, six different ones. And they really are uh, this nice, nice little twist and touch to the game. But that's the end of the turn. The lazy pimples are the boss now. So let's bring over the dice tower. Let's roll them bones. Okay. Mm, what do we need a glove right and the glove is a seven we could go for a seven. Oh, we could gain two gloves and the eight and the one that's actually pretty okay i think we have to do that 
Yeah, let's lock it in like this. Perfect. So the eight gives us a glove. So we have completed this amazing, which means we can flip this immediately. So this gives us a safe and yeah, we have a six now or also two diamonds, but only a six. Whereas the GC Angel have also two diamonds or gems, but they have the eight. So we are not breaking the tie in our favor here. But for finally, we will get to see our first safe card. And that's simply three bucks. So yes, we are totally cashing it in right away. You can basically do that anytime during your turn. That was only the eight, actually. We still have the seven. That's two more dollars. We get another glove. Let's totally bring it here. And we also get one more victory point because we activated the gangster here. Ooh, that's pretty damn amazing. And we can go for shopping. So we are spending four dollars. Let's not forget to move our little meeple here. One, two, three cards. And we can look, oh, another steering wheel. Ooh, or another glove or another lock. What symbols? I think we may go for the lock. Hard, but it's an L. But that's two points. Let's go for the lady here and place her here on top. And that's yeah, that's four points at the end of the game. Not nothing actually. And I think that's that. We still have three dollars, but that's not enough to continue to move. So let's move over to the cheesy angels. And I believe I forgot to give them one more card right at the end of the last turn. That was. <sighs> Yes, okay, mm, I should really have considered that. And I, oh, that's maybe, I have to do that really quick now. Mm, yeah, this could be tempting. Let's go for this card here. Oops, that's on the wrong side. Um, we will basically get two points for every um, gangster that has two upgrade cards on it. And it's another gold bar and the gold bar, oops, you cannot see that really, um, would give them the majority. I think that would work out for him. Okay, but now let's think about our action. We have a seven and an eight. Again, the seven would be tempting. That's a victory point, four more dollars, which give us another upgrade card. So a lot of tasty things. The eight on the other hand would give us a mask and a glove to really advance here. And I think that's the, hmm. Let's do that first. Let's do that first, I believe. Yeah, so we will activate the eight. So this gives us a mask and we're getting a glove. Let's place the glove in here. Yeah, let's do that. So no one, yeah, we do did done. We have done that for the lazy pimples. They get to draw a new card in a second. Let's move the police car one step ahead. And again, the lazy pimples get an extra card. That's seven points here. That's so awfully tasty. And we have a lot of lock symbols. Let's go for it. Let's really try the best. And there will always be five cards to choose from. That's a nice one here. When you flip it to the other side, you basically have a warehouse where you can park those cards and you can move these ticks off to matching things. And that can help you. Not a bad thing. Okay, the cheesy angels are the boss now. So let's roll those dice. Oof. That's an interesting one. It's not ideal, but I think we can hold on to that. We could go for the six and the five. Oops, the other way around. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. So these are two flashlights, which we don't really need for heist. But the flashlights could go in here and we will get a safe card. I'm not sure what we are getting with a safe card. Let's see what we get. These are two locks. Oh, that's amazing. Of course, the other players don't know that. And at any time during your turn, you can spend it. And as we still have the six here, we will most likely spend it. So we are going um, with the glove and the other one was a mask and i think the mask yeah this has to go in here but that's not bad that's not bad and then yeah we are totally playing our safe card here which gives us two more lock symbols which will complete this heist oh that's pretty amazing that's pretty amazing actually i have to remember that they're where the starting player cool stuff so yeah we will cash this heist in 
um, which means they will most likely be, yeah, I think they will definitely be in the lead here in respect to the gold bars. They have an 11, whereas the Lazy Pimples only have the 8, which means they will take the necklace away. It has to go to a different character, but therefore they will still score a point because whenever you get it from, you get the point. And then we must not forget to assign another card. Oh, that was pretty damn amazing for the cheesy angels. What are the Lazy Pimples going to do with that? I mean, they have a five and a six to choose from. The six gives them two things. So I guess let's activate the six. So they get two more dollars, which is cool. They could buy an upgrade and um, they will most likely, or they will. And the flashlight, yeah, will totally go in there. So they're missing out here, but that's okay. They're spending the five dollars to advance one more step. We're drawing one, two, three cards, dollars or oh, gloves. Mm, the five would also give us an amazingly strong cash machine. The four is another glove. We already have gloves. The 11 already have. Now let's go for the five and place it down here. So yeah, we are extending the trousers here. And that's that. Um, the police car is moving one, which means no one from the players will be able to unlock this space here. Yeah, it's really moving relatively fast, but you can only do that much in this game. You always have these kind of things to consider and to weigh all the options weighing against them. Let's not forget to give the cheesy angels another heist. Looking at their cards, I think they will go for this rather easy one for the storage one. It's worth one point, but this could also help them to later on keep the majority for those gems. Okay, the lazy pimples are the boss now. So let's roll those dice. Oh, the police car is moving like crazy. They have a re-roll. Let's not forget that. And I guess we are holding on to the eight here, I guess. Doesn't really matter too much because we get the glove for this one here, which could help us. And we are old. Let's roll these three dice again. We have the free re-roll down there. That's a zero and a ten. Yeah, let's hold on to the ten. That's a perfect result. Cool stuff. Let's see, the eight is simple. We are placing this guy here, which gives us another reroll. Cool. So we are placing it down here. Let's not try to forget that we have three diamonds now. Not 100% sure. And I think they will not be able, but let's deal with that after we have taken all our actions here. And the 10, yeah, these are two locks. Pretty damn powerful too which could be seven points at the end of the game. So we are placing two locks in here. The police car will not move. That may be a good thing. We don't get to buy anything. I'm relatively certain that, yeah, actually, I really don't think with, no, I think we can do that right away. So they have the majority in respect to those gems. Let's assign this one in here. This gives the yellow player an additional victory point because they grabbed this necklace. And then it's the cheesy angels who have to pick a pair of dice. And I think that's, yeah, absolutely. It's the eight. The eight gives them one victory point because they have a necklace here. They gain a mask and they also gain a glove. The mask goes in here. The glove, yeah, has to go in there. Could give them two more bucks at some point in time. But yeah, as I figured, they are not gonna going to um, cash in or complete that heist over there. But that's the end of the round. We are not moving the police car. Keep in mind, this was a zero. But this also means we are rolling the dice for the cheesy angels. Next, I think I haven't forgotten anything. I hope at least. Let's simply roll those guys. And wow, that's a one. That's okay. Five. Five is not bad. Would give them another save. And the two gives them pretty much a wild card, which is also not bad. I think let's hold on to that result, actually. So it's the five and the two. Again, the two gives you anything but the flashlight here. But let's deal with the flashlight here first, just to see what we get from the safe, actually. So we are cashing it in right away. So that's, wow, that's another check mark. Oh, cool. That's powerful like crazy and this was the five right we could have placed one but no that's okay i think here we are getting a mask from the two 
so that's that oh yeah they are able no that's another round now of course <laughs> we're already in the next turn and then yeah we are also cashing in this safe card here for another tick which means we have completed this so now we are oh i again i forgot to give the lazy pimples another but anyway we'll deal with that in a second so now they have the storage down here they have now for sure the majority i think there's nothing that the, the other players can do no so we are moving this back here to the seven blue will score one more point they're both at four and before i do anything with the lazy pimples i have to give them another heist i think we will go with this one here this is another category it's paintings and the special ability allows you to spend three dollars to get one of those check marks to place anywhere pretty damn powerful too and now let's choose their pair of dice and again it's a five or a two the two gives them uh, something let's go with the two actually let's go with the two because this gives us this and uh, there is a chance we might be able to complete this next round because again we have a double lock symbol here double lock gangster so yeah that's that they're both not buying anything again i must not forget to give the cheesy angels their card but let's move the police car first so this is moving one more step ahead and then hmm, hmm if we go for this one here this would more or less guarantee yeah let's go for this one here that's five points perfect let's reveal another card and then yeah we are basically moving back to the lazy pimples who are the boss for this round for this turn i should say mm, they have two rerolls now um the one i think is okay could be worse could be better but i think oh the seven or two sevens two sevens doesn't do it they won't ah they have a ten yeah i think we have to go for the ten and the four the four is also not bad actually no let's let's stop here let's not use the rerolls on the other hand we could roll this let's roll this why not let's roll it again uh, and okay it stays it too i told you it could get worse but that's okay we are going for the 10 and the 10 will basically complete this heist they're Oh, oh he is now they are now at four and again six will end the game yeah that's perfect so they have completed this anytime they can now spend three dollars to basically get a checkbook check mark and the four goes in here that's a mask and yeah why not place the mask here again we want to complete the two again i must not forget to deal with that um they have the majority for paintings for sure which means they're getting the appropriate necklace let's again place it on the seven they will score a point for that the last category is the money bag actually yeah which we didn't unlock yet we don't know if the uh, let's let's wait now until we are drawing these or the extra highs let's deal with the cheesy angels first uh the 10 is a movement the four is a movie yeah, up okay it's a movement or a movement and i think in this case blue is totally taking the shortcut in here because there's nothing to gain here anymore but then that's the end of the round so we are moving the police car on two spaces ahead keep in mind this will also end the game they will never take the shortcut by the way and then we have to select a heist for the lazy pimples and we want to go for something hmm with gold bars i guess so maybe this or that this is more let's go for this this gives us a safe and saves are always fun and that's that actually yeah the cheesy angels are next let's bring over the dice tower and ooh, wow another two they're moving incredibly fast Oof, that's a tough one and yeah they still haven't completed this is there a possibility for them to get the two locks the eight is definitely good we want to hold on to that do we want the nine that's one lock there's no way we get a second lock anyway and do we want to, i'm not feeling like spending money now actually let's keep it like this so we are triggering the eight that's a victory point oh for blue they're both at five because again there's the necklace they're getting four dollars which is i think somewhat important for them they can buy an upgrade card for that that was the what am i talking about 
what am I talking about? No, it's here. Stupid. We got the victory point, we get a mask, and we get a glove. So yeah, let's let's try to solve or complete those highs. That's five points. Then we have the nine. This was the lock, exactly. And the lock goes in. Mm. Mm. No, let's go in here because we haven't unlocked the category in here yet. We don't have the money now. We have fixed that, or I have fixed that. Luckily, we will move to spaces. Nothing was completed here. So, no, I think that's basically it for the cheesy angels. And both nine or eight are not really amazing. Mm, I think we will go. Ooh, that's really crap. There is nothing we can do with that, actually. Yeah, we could go for this. The glove could be two dollars. That's so bad. Ah, uh, the two dollars. Yeah, let's go for the two dollars. I don't know. Why do I think I get two dollars? Nine or eight? Nine or eight? Why? Why do I think nine dollars? It's the glove. Ah, it's here. No, let's. Uh, no, then in this case. No, let's go for the steering wheel then. Moving our car ahead, not sure if it's any good or not. The police car will move one, two spaces and yeah, no one completed a high so we can move into the next turn. Now let's roll for the lazy pimples. Let's see, they have a toe. That was a four. That was really a four. I'm not going to re-roll that. Mm. Oh, two locks is good. The five are far, four dollars. Oh, that's Everything is not bad, actually. We could do better than the five. The 10 is definitely, that's a must, actually. I think we want to hold on, but we could do better with that. So we are going to spend one re-roll here. Let's roll them all. Maybe we are rolling a zero on the black die. And we are already behind. Yeah, that's better. And the seven, yeah, let's hold on to this. I think that's pretty damn amazing. So the 10, these are two locks. Um, one lock goes in here, one lock goes in here. Let's do that. The seven gives them a point. Cool, there it is, six. We get two money, that's also, and we get a glove. The glove isn't great, but I will get it anyway. The point was good and the money was good. No, that's, I think, pretty good. Here we have the zero, we cannot buy anything. And for the cheesy angels, it's rather obvious they will get a point for the necklace and four more dollars. And no, they are totally going to spend, yeah, basically nearly all of it. Five out of those six to move one space ahead. They will get three more cards, a six. Oh, they don't have the 11 yet. And the nine is cool too, actually. The 11 could be an extra steering wheel. Do we need another, uh, hmm. No, let's go for, ah, uh, that's not a symbol, it's money. Mm. They also want doubles now. So maybe they will go for the six, actually. Yeah, let's go for the six, actually. As this is the first time we are seeing this in this game, that we are extending the trousers or the coat, in this case, even one step more. So this can become pretty powerful here, unlocking a lot of symbols. And because they have the uh, storage here, they can really park those things for late. Of course, the game is already relatively late, I would say, but still, let's wait and see. And that's basically the end of the turn. The police car is not moving, no. So yeah, we can basically move the dice tower over here. They will be the boss. And let's roll, oh, that's a two. They certainly will hold on to the nine because this gives them the lock they need here. And they have another nine, but that nine is kind of boring. So they are spending one dollar to re-roll these things. Bit better, that's an 11. Yeah, the Maya, they have to live with it now, which is a one here. So that's okay. Cool, let's lock it in as it is. So this is completed and that's the last yeah, category. There is nothing that the lazy pimples would be able to do. So we can move this down here too. This gives them again the last category. We are placing it this on a six. This gives them an additional point. They are now at seven. And here we simply have the mask. And yeah, let's put the mask in here. I'm not 100% sure if the other player will. No, let's wait for that. Let's move over to the lazy pimples first. And the 11 is awfully tasty. The 9, not so much. No, let's go for the 11. The 
that's two symbols and one mask it goes in here that could be seven points that's huge and the lock yeah simply goes in here cool police car is moving one all those tasty safes here and the cheesy angels have to make a pickup this is cool but will they be able to make that do they want to hold on this could be could be actually not unimportant for them let's go for this heist let's bring out a new one yeah maybe that could help them and that's the end of the turn it's yellow the lazy Pimples with 20 rerolls or so. Mm, 12. 12 are two. Oh, 12? Hmm. But that's two steering wheels. And the seven is also not bad. I think, yeah, we want to hold on to the seven for sure, I think. Mm, we want a flashlight. The flashlight would be the six now. Would that? I think we are going to reroll all three of those. We are really hoping for a six now. It's kind of a, oh, that's not a six. We are re-rolling them all. It's a zero, but we have to live with that now. Now that's not ideal. We could still spend money though. I mean, the zero is okay. Let's hold on to the zero. Should we, let's spend one more dollar, come on. Let's see if we can roll a six. Yeah, <laughs> cool. Awesome. Yeah, that's definitely logging in. So we're getting one point. So they're both at seven. Wow, awfully close game. And we're getting a glove, which, oh, which give them two more dollars in here. And we're getting two more dollars. Okay, that wasn't a pretty amazing turn. So we are cashing in this here. Again, this gives us two more dollars um, from there. So we can upgrade. Cool. And I think I forgot to discard those. Apologies for that. That was the seven. The six is, oh, wow, another two dollars. Cool. And we are getting the flashlight. We need amazing stuff. So we have completed this. Let's move it down. It's the 13, uh, which means we will take this away from the cheesy angels, the necklace. Um, we are parking it here on the six for sure. This gives them an additional victory point. Nice. And then, yeah, we are buying stuff, right? Yeah, we are spending five bucks to move our meeple. And even playing this dual handed is so much fun. I enjoy this game such a big deal. And I think, yeah, we will go for a two-pointer now. We are really coming closer to the end of the game. So we will go for the two-pointer down there. And yeah, these two are discarded. Then it's the Cheesy Angels. And honestly, how many cards do they have? One, two, three, four, five, six. They want money. They need money for sure. So they will activate the seven for four more dollars still not enough i think they need six now yeah to advance and they will also score a point also bring them up to eight and that's basically the end of the round we are not moving the police car but the lazy pimples get to draw a heist let's go for this one not 100 percent ideal but yeah it will have to make do and that's that. Yeah, it's the Cheesy Angels. We'll be the boss this round. Let's see. Ooh, 12, two space. Wow, that's, I think that race is lost. And as I think blue is basically fine when they're losing both three points or both are fine then because no one is really gaining or winning or losing anything from that. So, hmm, I really think we have to roll dice, re-roll dice. There's really nothing good coming out of this. The eight, the 10, that's again a lost cause. The eight, that's okay, but not great. We will hold on to the police die for sure. On the other hand, we could also reroll that to hope that the game will end sooner because maybe they feel that the lazy pimples are in the, maybe that's what we should do actually, but nah, I don't think so. Let's, let's hold on to this. Let's reroll all of those dice. Again, this costs us one dollar. Let's not forget that. And is that any better? It's a seven. Seven. Ah, yeah, seven gives them. Yeah, I think the seven is good, and the three is also not bad. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Well, that's another point coming from the seven. That's four more money for the seven. The two is two more money. Two. 
and we are getting the lock symbol which we are totally going to place in here because that's the more valuable card after all pretty good pretty good blue is definitely spending six stars to draw cards Ooh. Um, but ten ten is dollars nine is a mile well we need mass actually let's go for this it's only one point but i think it's still worth it for them yeah i think that's pretty good they have three dollars left let's not forget to move and if we are making it here um we are, can no longer buy upgrade cards but for every five dollars we are spending we gain three victory points that's not nothing and then the lazy pimples i think for them it's obvious they will go for the seven which will score them a point they're both at nine wow amazing they will get two more bucks i'm not sure no they cannot and it's six and we get the glove yeah, the glove is also not great but hmm, not sure pretty sure they will not be able to complete both of those so here was really hoping for something else but yeah it is what it is police car isn't moving we are not getting any more highs so no the lazy pimples will be the boss so let's bring out that good old dice tower okay 10 uh, 10 doesn't help them they need mass and flashlights so a six would be good so i guess we are rolling them all yeah, we have to re-roll so let's do that okay that's not a six hmm. do they get a mass mass are really hard to get in this game ah uh, we have the 11 maybe let's go with the 11 that's not bad do we want to hold on to the Ah, five. Ah, that's good. That's truly good. Yeah, I think we will hold on to the five. I'm not sure. Do I want to reroll that? They're also feeling very comfortable there in the lead, so maybe they do want to hold on to that. No, they want to hold on to the five. So we're getting four more dollars, which we are going to spend in a second. We get a. Oh, we get a lock. Uh, we want the mask for sure right in the block yeah we could complete this actually but no let's put it here any pairs of basically uncompleted um tokens here which you still have in your whatever game area is still a point so that's i think right now better to than to move the car actually potentially that is cool let's spend six dollars to oops, move our meeple so we are now making our escape with the helicopter here that's really telling a nice story the sport here by the way and okay mm, oh there's another mask on the five and we want the mask we can increase our chances let's totally go for the five yeah yeah i think that's definitely worth it we are in theory not gaining a real point for that but i'm still okay with that i still am yeah it's the cheesy angels they have the 11 or the five and i guess the five it is yeah maybe they should have paid attention i should pay attention but yeah they also want to do stuff so they will go for the two flashlights for sure one is completing this up here the next flashlight we could park and i think let's park it for now we don't have to assign it just yet that's still something we can do and yeah we are pretty much completing this thing they already had the necklace for that so it simply gives them five points and yeah we are moving the police car to more spaces and ooh, these paintings let's I mean let's yeah why not let's reach for the sky and hold on to this cool no that's basically the end of the turn the cheesy angels are next so let's roll those suckers and ooh, a four and a four but that's pretty damn lame actually i think we have the seven we need right for this quest down here one two three four five six seven so money is not that big of a deal anymore we could go for the six though which is oh i think the six is not bad actually and the two and the two huh the two is a wild card basically yeah that's good no we want to hold on to this i'm not spending any any things here no that's perfectly fine we will leave it like this here we are getting a point uh, moving up to 10 and we're getting three symbols for the six that's pretty insane and that's 
pretty much a lock. Uh, I think let's try to do this actually. Or is it realistic? I mean, yeah, why not? Let's try that. So that's the lock. Uh, the, yeah, the lock. That's the mask. And that's the glove. We still have the two, which would be a wild. And I think we will spend the wild. Oh no, the wild cannot be a flashlight, of course. So in this case, I don't know. I don't know. Let's do, I don't know. Let's do the mask for now. We can still move the flashlight up neck. I think that's worked out pretty well, actually. And yeah, that was the two. Cool. No, I think that's pretty. If they will do this, they will get at least three more points out of this. That could be huge. And yeah, I think for the lazy pimples, it's most certainly the six because they will also score a point. Um, they will get two more dollars and they will get the flashlight for here. So they might also be able to secure this and this could be another safe which could be up to three points for example or maybe something else no I think that's pretty damn good too police car is moving two more spaces or three more spaces and the police will end the game but both of the players have five completed high so it's more likely that they will end and i've never seen that that the police is ending the game not saying it's not possible but again i have played this game at least six seven times before and um, this never happened but as john strong connery already had to say never say never so let's do this okay that's oof, 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 the syria do we get the mask i mean that's the important piece and yes we could get the mask with this i think that's a no-brainer we want to get the mask. that's at least three more points for sure the five mm. yeah that's a perfect roll for them it's another mask no that's that's perfect we will stop here i'm not sure what the other player is doing but yeah let's let's really focus here so that's one mask here and we are getting a steering wheel that's really not worth mentioning so that was the four we have dealt with that here we're getting four more quits and we are getting another mask and yeah this mask could go in here but again this is the end or, or basically short before the end of the game so they are completing this heist here they will hold on to the majority of gold bars i think that much is pretty clear but they get a save for that maybe i'm not showing this to you huh maybe that's a big surprise but yeah it's not really that big of a surprise so we are totally placing it um that's a good point now we have flashlight what's more likely do we get more gloves we have more gloves than we have flashlight so i think we place it on here yeah let's do that and then yeah we still can spend six more dollars on another gangster nine nine is one more point that's i think we are now at the end of the game so we are going with a three that's two points the others are only one pointer so i think in this case that's a no brainer and then it's still the cheesy angels who get to choose and oh that's a, ah that's that's they have a four which is a wheel doesn't help them or the i think they have to go with the five so these are two flashlights we don't need the flashlight here I think we are simply going to place the flashlight in here both of them we are cashing it in right away so this is basically oh okay this card here allows you to when you let's say you activate a 10 then you can go to the neighboring space for example there's something very similar in space space okay um yeah but this means again the lazy pimples have triggered the end of the game the police car doesn't move it's a zero after all we could have re-rolled that but i think that's not worth mine we are still getting one more or the lazy pimples that is one more card and i think oof, i think it, they will not be able to manage one so let's go for the easiest one right now and yeah let's simply hope for the best and now it's the end the last turn of the game which means we are no longer rolling the police die um the new boss will roll all four dice but again doesn't really matter now because 
the new or whatever they roll all the other players can make the pay, pass off their choosing and all the players get to get two pairs so the, this last turn is a little bit special it doesn't really matter who actually rolls this but in order to stick to the game flow we will remove the dice tower they can still re-roll maybe that's the one piece which does matter no maybe that was a little bit too quick though that's two times an eight which we need a lock actually and this is not helpful we could go for the nine that's still oops that was a six we could go for the nine which would give them the lock and yeah, i think that's pretty good and the seven yeah i think that's they will not re-roll it and again but all the other players or in this case lazy pimples can make their choice too let's go for the seven first this is another point they're getting four more dollars which means they could still get another gangster upgrade which is pretty helpful and then we are going for the nine for sure so that's another lock and a mask and because we have parked yeah i think you cannot see it here one flashlight symbol here on the warehouse and you have to assign it to the same space by the way we will actually complete this piece yeah that's six points and that's huge and in theory they could snack the necklace away from the lazy pimples but they if they complete their last thing and maybe they could um this would mean they will not take it away because they have the 11 then no let's be careful now but that's pretty much the end of the turn no we can still spend the six dollars of course to draw three more cards one two and three and now it's kind of boring actually because again we have this card here which gives you two points for each gangster that has at least two cards or two upgrades on it so but if we go for the 11 here that's also um, basically two points so it's pretty much a wash actually so but let's take the 11 for the fun and we didn't even use this card i think we didn't have to no i think this was pretty perfect what are the lazy pimples going to do again they can rearrange those dice now as they see fit but they want the seven and the nine yeah the nine doesn't do anything for them but the seven is the thing unless do they get they could go for the eight and the eight no two no i think that's the better deal so that's also one more point for the seven it's two more dollars could be a tie breaker the money that's the glove they needed to complete this which means that's four points for them and they hold on to the paintings um triumph actually because again they both have two but he has the single highest card that's the 11. i think that was definitely worth it and here it's simply one step on the city track but this doesn't do them anything and that's pretty much the end of the game so we are now checking the back of the rule book so we are getting points for heist for scoring effects on heist for loot cards so we don't have any of those loot cards let's see if i can i think these are not safe cards these are loot cards so this would would have been a card that's worth two points didn't see any of those we will get two points for each necklace we will get one point for each two markers that we still have and both of the players will now lose three points because we are both behind the police car so let's do the first category real quick for the cheesy angels so we have to flip them over again so for whatever reason they are still face down now but i think that's a lot of these things are face down then in the end so that's not bad so that's 11 12 18 points and we right now we are only looking at the top right um scoring thing here so again what are 11 18 points so let's see so that's 21 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 29 points not shabby let's do the same here for oh wow no, also not bad 11 12 15 wow really not bad 15 16 17 20 points is that correct 7 11 12 15 17 20 points yeah so that's basically 31 if i counted that correctly but i do know that the cheesy angels 
have a lot of these end game scoring that's seven more points at least yeah okay up next are now the scoring effects only 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 quote unquote the cheesy angels have that actually so now we are looking at those we do know we have seven or more of those cards we have one where this is true so that's seven more points here bringing them to 36 i think blue will definitely run away here up next it's um the loot cards we already seen that now we have to count the upgrade cards again only the visible ones do count so that's five six seven eleven points here so rather i think but they will also score a lot of points here so that's 42 for yellow so far that's four five six seven nine points only so that's four and five okay three points in the lead up next the necklace is pretty much washed they both have two so that's one two one two yeah four points each and then we are pretty much any two markers and yeah unfortunately and i think i forgot that and maybe allow me this one mulligan here for three bucks they would have been able to create one more of those and then they would have basically two and this would be another point but they already know they have lost the game the blue player has also three which is one pair in the end so that's 50 points in total and that's the end of bad company and again i must say i really do enjoy the hell out of this game so a porter games never never ever let me down i'm a huge fan of automania um the magnificent santa maria really great stuff and bad company is no different here really another job so well done a huge shout out to all of my patrons out there really do appreciate all your support if you want to support my show you will find a link to my patreon patreon you can join my community here on youtube like and subscribe this also greatly help leave a comment and yeah hope to see you soon in one of my other videos and until then bye bye